land. And that's why land again in South Africa is so sensitive. And that's why, by and large, it's still controlled and manipulated and owned by the British and white people. And again, it's not because of physical land. It's because they've just convinced you. It's part of the coolest social experiments I get to witness because I love visiting squatter camps. Squatter camps are an attempt by human beings to steal back land. Steal back land that was stolen. It wasn't stolen. Land is land is land. It's not your land. Chimpanzees are not like, well, this is our land. The lions came and stole. No, land is land is land. But someone comes and convinces you that this is my land. And then after that, the next person either gets it from them through fair exchange or you bully me off the land, which is then called stolen. So our land is deemed stolen because of that. We don't want to say we were conquered in a fair battle because that's going to make blacks very, very angry. So there are black people, some foreigners who are going around through conquest, intelligent conquest, because it's physical, that are stealing land back, illegal occupation. <laughs> and obviously white people through the deeds registry and the, your black government, they send the police to go and bash and pull toads down these places. And people are like, this farm was sitting here idle and we need space to live. So they're going aggressively to sit on that land. They're like, we want it. We're going to stay here. Is a, is a, is a, what used to be an informal settlement in Newcastle. You know, I see in Dao. And the people stay there. And if you convince enough people on that piece of land, we're not going anywhere. And they put up shacks. Eventually the government comes and they, plays ball. they play ball. And then they start bringing uh, mobile toilets. And they start bringing electricity. And they start building roads. And they start bringing uh, schools. They start building RTPs. But you didn't buy that land fairly. You didn't have a title deed for it. You went illegally and you occupy the land and you aggressively sometimes through violence there's a lot of killings when it comes to squatter camps because someone is like you shouldn't be here you should be here going back to the core of what's always happened with land land has always been fought for so i'm fascinated by how squatter camps come up and i'd love to get to a point where i learn how to steal land but i don't want to do it like the idiots at the bottom of the food chain like squatter camps is for like dumb People that are willing to fight and argue with poor blacks. You, I think I'm too intelligent for that. I want to steal land intelligently. I want to design an NFT. Great NFT with my face and penalism. And then I want to sell it to someone in China for $5 million. Oh my gosh, I've got a penal NFT. And I want to take this $5 million in fiat currency that is backed by nothing but the government's word. And I want to take this 5 million and convert it into the South African rand um, using our South African Reserve Bank. 5 times 15 is 50, 75, 75 million rand. And then I want to take the 75 million rand. And then I want to go and buy. What's a good, what's a good amount? Um, let's just use the example of a 100, 100 hectares of land. Good land for 75 million dollars. How did I buy it? I bought it fairly with money. How did you get the money? No, I got it fairly through creative digital creation and an NFT. Intelligent theft. That's what cryptocurrency and NFTs are. That's what the Mona Lisa is. The people that are selling luxury goods, Louis Vuitton, Mont Blanc, <laughs> Johan Rupert, Cartier, Dunhill. Uh, the people that sell artworks, expensive artworks. It's how they launder money intelligently without your knowledge. They get to move $10 million, $5 million because they're like, but this artwork is worth $10 million. Where did it go? How did it get through the airport? No, the artwork and the... So I'd like to learn how to steal money and steal resources intelligently. I want to colonize mines. I colonize mines like Zaire by the Belgians. One of my favorite rap tracks, KRS1. Zack De La Roca and who's the last person? Zack De La Roca carries one and the last emperor. The name of the song is, I think it's called CIA, Criminals in Action. I used to be into deep hip hop. Talib, most deaf, common, immortal technique. Come on. Carries one, Zack De La Roca and the last emperor. One of the coolest quotes. In this, in this rap song is, I colonized mines like Zaire by the Belgians. Zaire, which we know now as the Democratic Republic of the Congo, 
was colonized by an emperor. Uh, one of my favorite human beings, King Leopold of, of Belgium. Never set foot in the Congo. Never. The guy has never set foot in the Congo, but he owned it. How did he own it? He sent, if you watch the, the Legend of Tarzan, this movie, with Margot Robbie, and, ooh, this actor's amazing. One of the best actors in the world. I'm sorry I'm doing this to you guys. Hopefully as time goes by, I'll be able to do this like much quicker. And obviously if my brain can remember some of the stuff faster, then I can sort you guys out. Um, Christoph Waltz. Christoph Waltz, I think is an inglorious bastard. Amazing actor. Not racist, they are Immaculate actor. Christoph Waltz. I think he's in Django as Django's, as Jamie Foxx's trainer. Um, so he plays in the Legend of Tanzan, this man that was sent by the King Leopold of Belgium. Sent for science and discovery. That's how King Leopold colonized the Congo. <clears throat> he, got, he raised funding for exploration. And in sending this guy, they ended up finding cocoa and rubber and whatever. And they enslaved the people of Zaire at the time. Um, and they built a huge amount of wealth. It only came out later what he'd done and the millions of people he'd killed or whose limbs they chopped because they didn't meet the targets of what they'd done. Jeez, that's intelligent. Obviously, you colonize minds. I colonize minds like Zaire by the Belgians. You colonize minds through religion, through a Bible, through Christianity. If they don't want to listen, you go for the Crusades. You will love Jesus Christ or I will kill you. You will follow COVID protocol or you will be jailed. I want to do it intelligently. Um, for me, it's a social experiment. I've reached the point of nirvana like Buddha, where I realize that nothing is important. I could be a guru. I could be Mahatma Gandhi, who you guys call